Okay. So we want to find BC. So X. Um, and the other thing is, since they already labeled them A, B, and C, it's nice for the uh, cosine. Um, maybe it's nice for the cosine. Uh, because if we do, we say it's C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Right? That's my law of cosines. Um, since I don't know two angles, I kind of need to use law cosines here. Um, uh, some of the tests, I'm going to have you find all the angles and all the sides. Okay? So, uh, you have to be ready for that one. Uh, this seems like it's just law cosines right here, so let's, let's just do it. That's a C. Unfortunately, the way that we have this set up, C is 13, right? Um... I can actually use the law of sines to find an angle, right? Because sine A over little a is equal to sine B. I can't. Over little b, if you remember those. Um, and so I could find the sine of B because I have A. I have C, so I can also say is equal to sine C over little c. So I could do sine C, sine of uh, C over this is equal to, oh no, I couldn't because I don't have this angle either. Alright, never mind, I can't use the law of sines. I have to use the law of cosines. Um, so with this, I would say. C, and in this case, I'm going to rewrite this law of cosines. Since we're looking for little a, right, I'm going to write it in terms of a, but remember, it's the same thing. It's just a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Okay, So I can just rewrite it so that it is in terms of this A, B, and C triangle. And now I can plug in, well then I can say that this is really the square root, right? So I can say that A is equal to, is that recording now? Yeah. Okay. That A is equal to the square root of B. Little B is this guy, right? So 29 squared plus little C, which is this guy. And so that's a 13 squared minus 2 times 29 and 13 cosine of A is 91 degrees. Okay? And then I just plug that in my calculator. You know? Um, turn it sideways. Start with nothing, right? And I say square root of... 29 squared plus 13 squared minus um, 2 times 29 times 13 times uh, cosine of 91. And hit equals. And that's 31.98. So what I'm coming up with is A is equal to 32. Okay? Um, and that's what this is. So 32. That was easy. Okay? The next problem, again, we're looking for angle A, that would be here, 
Okay? Um, again, we get, we're given the same type of problem. We have these two angles, or these two sides, but we don't have this angle. So again, this is log cosines, but we're looking for an angle this time. So remember, we can take this, and we can rewrite it, moving all this over. C squared minus A squared minus B squared, right? Divided by negative 2AB cosine equals, and then that would equal the cosine of C, or C would equal the cosine inverse of all that. Okay? And so that's what I would use. But the problem is, this is for C, and we're looking for A. Snaps. All right. So everything kind of gets changed, just like it got changed to here, right? So it's really just A is equal to, and think about it, A squared minus B squared minus C squared, right? Divided by 2, negative 2BC. And then what I'm going to do is take the inverse cosine of that. And so now it's in terms of A. Okay? And uh, I just plug in some numbers. So cosine inverse of A, remember A is here and this is B. So A is 18 squared minus B, which is 11 squared. Uh, minus C, which is, uh-oh, unknown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. We have a problem. Mm -hmm. Right? What's the problem? <laughs> we don't have C. Can we find C? Yeah. All right. So we'll come back to that. We find C the same way we found it here. Right? So, C, right? C is equal to the square root of A squared. So, in this case, A squared, right, is what? What's A? 18? Minus. B squared, which is 11, or no, oops, sorry, is plus B squared minus 2, 18 times 11, cosine of C, which is, in this case, 98, right? So what we do is we plug that in to our calculator. Okay, so we have the square root, so we'll go C, so we have the square root of 18 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 times uh, 18 times 11 times cosine 98 okay equals so C is equal to 22.36 right so this is going to be minus 22.36 squared right all over negative 2, right, times BC. Uh, so B would be 18, and C would be 11. Okay? So what I can do is I can take that number... I can square it, right? 
hit equals, put a negative in front of it, and add that to 11 squared. So 11 squared is negative, right? Um, but the positive part would be 18 squared. So let's add it to um, 18 squared. So add to 18 squared, right? And then subtract 11 squared. Okay? And so what we're left with is my, minus 297.11 divided by this. So I'm going to hit equals, and then I'm going to divide it by negative 2 times 18 times 11, and then hit equals. So that's going to be taking the cosine inverse of 0.75028. Right? So now I'll just go put it out in front. Go cosine. Oops. Do that again. Out in front. Put cosine. Oops. Let's go inverse. There you go. So A cosine, okay, is equal to 41.385, right? So about 41 degrees. So in this case, angle A is equal to 41.4 degrees. Okay? That's what angle A is equal to. Now there's another way I'd like to show you how to solve that. Right? And that is by taking this number again and using the law of signs. Because once we have this as 22.4, we can actually use the law of sines to find A. Sine of A over 22.36 is equal to the sine of B, or in this case, sine of C, no, sorry. Sine of A over 18 is equal to the sine of C, or 98, over 22.36. And so I can multiply both sides by 18. 18 sine 98 over 22.36. And take the inverse sine of that. And we should still get the same number, or roughly the same, because we round it off. And let's just have fun and do that one more time. So C is uh, the inverse sine of 18 times 98, no, times the sine of 98, okay, and then we're going to actually do some double parentheses here, and then say, uh, hey, did I tell you? Hey, you said Divide that by 22.36, and that equals 52. That's weird. I'm going to have to relook at that.